Hey everyone, it's Tank Oscar Mike. I'm out here. I came over to check my antenna real quick. Um, you can see it going up into that tree. And I have another one going that way, but I just came out and wanted to check things out a bit. I was cleaning up this area, but in some of my other videos I showed you how, and I talked about how the vines choke the trees out and break the trees. That's why there's so many downed trees on my property. And I'm gonna sneak back right here just to show you See that? Look at that. Looks like a python. You can see this, that in there. So that is the Japanese bitterroot vine. And that one is huge. I need to cut that one off to kill it. Actually, I think I might have put a cut in it already. Um, but it grew on a grapevine strangled the grapevine and then went up to this tree and the top of this tree snapped off a while ago and I had to clean that up. Um, and then the thorns grow into the vines and it makes a big mess and it's just, it, it's a combination that is just hard to deal with and uh, you're just constantly fighting it and it's just, it's frustrating, um, but yeah. It is the day after the Rabid Raccoon 100, which is a 100 mile race. And uh, this year it was at Brady's Run Park in Beaver County. And uh, I worked a 3.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. shift. So a nine and a half hour shift. It went really well. Uh, it's a lot of fun to see the races starting. I've never been on a shift uh, at the start finish line to be able to see the races starting. And, uh, and it was pretty cool. There's a 100 mile, 100K, which is 60 miles. And then there was a half marathon as well, which is, you know, 13.1, I believe, or 13.2. Um, there were like 300 people running that race. That was crazy. Um, but it was, it was pretty cool. They had good weather. Uh, it wasn't real chilly that night. It got colder actually in the morning when the fog set in. Um, and then it blew off. And then uh, it's colder today. It's supposed to chance of snow tonight or tomorrow and Tuesday so we'll see but I'm out here letting this knucklehead run around but I haven't made a video on mesh tastic for a while and the reason for that is I've sold all my mesh tastic gear I gave up on mesh tastic and it's not that I don't think it's a good technology and the devices are really cool it's because I live out here <laughs> and there's just not anybody else that's doing mesh tastic in the area. I don't live close enough to anybody. The 900 megahertz and 100 milliamp signal, uh, just with all the, the trees and everything, it honestly just doesn't reach that very far. Um, and this is Pennsylvania. I mean, even my property, you can see how hilly my property is. It's like that everywhere around here. I, you know, if you live in this area, you know, you are going up and down a hill constantly. And even with putting a device high up in a tree, which is what I did probably 40, 50 feet up in a tree. If you look at all the line of sight calculators, it still doesn't give me much of anything. I honestly uh, would have to have like a 500 foot tower. I think I was looking at the line of sight tool to get good coverage down into some of the more populated areas, uh, which is just absurd. Uh, so I kind of gave up on it. Uh, I thought about keeping the devices and just using them here and there, but um, if I did that, I think I would buy devices that were the all-in-ones where you didn't need a cell phone. Uh, that way I could hand them out. There'd be no... You wouldn't have to have the app on your phone and have a phone with you. You could just hand out one of those devices. But for now, I think I'm just going to not do anything with it. Maybe things will change. Uh, I also, with sending text messages, it's nice that you can send an encrypted message. Um, but it's really not that hard to do that over radio if you had to. Uh, it is illegal with ham radio, but I'm just saying it's really not that hard if you had to. Um, and yeah, it just was, wasn't going to work out for me. So I had three devices. I had batteries. I was setting one up as a solar node, but it had a big battery in it that would last like two weeks that I had put up in a tree for a bit. And uh, yeah, just... I drove around with one in my truck all the time to see if I could find somebody else 
another node. I was using the default settings and I never found anybody else. So actually I had four devices, three Lilygos and the um, rack starter kit. So all very cool devices and I love technology, but for me, it just wasn't going to work out. And uh, that's why I got rid of everything. So I'm not focusing on Meshtastic right now. I think it's great technology. It's just not for me. If you live in a urban area or a more densely populated area, buy a, a Meshtastic device if you can. I'd probably buy a rack device. They're $35, you can go out to Rockland, get on their notification list and buy one when they come in. Um, and there's some other devices now, the Helltech devices. I, my suggestion would be to buy one of those, leave it on the default settings, drive around and see who you can find and who you can detect. And if you find other nodes in the area, great. Or if there's other people that are interested in it with you, Go for it. I mean, seriously. But for me, unless I can teach Augie to text on a Meshtastic device, I don't think uh, it's going to work too well. I have a relative that lives a little over a mile down the road. I tried to see if I could get a signal. I got a signal a half a mile away. It was one ping got through and then nothing else. So it's just not penetrating. I think the woods and everything are just absorbing the signal too much. It's just not strong enough. But my GMRS radio that I have worked fine. Uh, we could get, we could talk. So I think it's just that 900 megahertz is true line of sight where the other bands, I think you have a little bit more ability to cut through the, uh, the trees and the foliage and just a little bit more power as well you know 100 milliwatts really isn't that a lot really isn't a lot and uh, I bought better antennas I tried everything to make it work but it just failed for me uh, for for my use and uh, I don't think I could get anybody else that interested in it because again you have to use a phone I think that's a big turn off for some people uh, the devices that uh, have keyboards and they're self-supporting where you don't need an app I think those might have been a better chance but those are obviously more expensive and there's a little bit more to it so but just the range alone killed it for me this is Tank Oscar Mike saying 73 take care